Welcome back. We're just saved by Crystal in the nick of time. That whole conversation actually with uh, Dectora and her calling the police and the police not being the real police, that's all taken from the novel. Happens to Deckard there when he's trying to tag an android called Luba Loft, who is an opera singer, rather more prestigious uh, line of work than um, stripper, I suppose. Although, what happens afterwards is very different in the novel. He doesn't get taken to uh, an underground torture chamber. <laughs> but the conversation itself is taken from the novel. Alright, let's go catch up with Crystal, who I'm sure is wondering what the hell's taking us so long. Looks like an old subway station, this. But like everything else in this city, it's uh, kind of in disrepair. What the hell took you so long? I was talking to the audience. Good thing you made your entrance when you did. Good thing one of my snitches saw them escort you out of the club. Otherwise, you'd be three quarters in the bag right now. They must have been phony cops hired by the reps for protection. Cops, yes. Phony, no. I remembered Baker. He used to be an SID expert on coercive technique until he was fired from the force a couple of years ago. A mercenary? Bingo. He won't have to worry about getting paid no more. That stripper you interviewed? She's one of them. Figure it out. She must have made the call to Baker and that other bozo. Let's attend to some business. I'm there. Nice crowd. Ooh. Regular folks steal, just like you and me. Speak for yourself. You see it anywhere? Not yet. You sure she's in here? I'm gonna look backstage. Check the balcony and cover the exit. I want this one giving us the blow off. I saw her, though. Did you? Well, if not, you can rewind the video and check. I'm telling the truth. She went upstairs. So I guess we'd better follow her. But this whole mess is just ridiculous. I do not want to kill this woman. I want to talk to these people and, and find out what the deal is with everybody calling me a replicant. If she knows Clovis, she might know what's up with that. And I'm gonna save here. No reason. There she is! Ah! What the hell? That? Ooh. Okay. I kind of accidentally did that. Yeah, you're supposed to shoot at light. If you wait too long, she'll attack you and you'll die. And I kind of wanted to show that, but apparently <laughs> I was to well, accidentally clicked on the light, or close enough to it for the game's purposes. Anyway, let's go in pursuit. She's got to be hiding here somewhere. Doesn't look like there's another way out. Let's see if we can reason with her. Listen, Dectora. I want to help. You say a lot of things, Mr. McCoy. But you're a Blade Runner. It's hard to know what's real. One of my associates is after you and your friends. I'm not sure I can hold her off much longer. I'm not worried. She may kill some of us, but not all of us. Clovis will see to that. Is he the one that sent you the flowers? Yes. And your lovers? We were once. But now we've evolved beyond that. They're still my family, Clovis and Lucy. What's Clovis looking for? Information. Data. Four years isn't enough time, Mr. McCoy. If anyone deserves more than four years, it's Clovis. If you could only meet him... Can you take me to him? I'm afraid that's impossible right now. Clovis will find you when he's ready. You better go now. Take the fire escape. I... appreciate it, Mr. McCoy. You can still shoot her. <laughs> There's a weird uh, glitch in the, the game. If you shoot her at this point, she will still uh, be alive later in the game. 
Which is kind of weird. Uh, at least that was that's uh, what happened to me before. But I think we've just made our choice, sort of. We're deciding with the replicants on this one. It's very easy, actually, to get uh, on the replicant sympathizer track, even if you don't mean to. What happened? Where is it? She got away. How the hell did it get away? We had it cornered. This one must be pretty damn clever. Duh! What the hell? Now I'll never catch it! We better call this in. Your vehicle close by? It's around here somewhere. Where'd you park it? I'm telling you, it was right here. Damn thing must have been stolen. Maybe you're living in an alternate reality, Slim. Attention all units. All points bulletin has been issued for Ray McCoy, formerly BR-61661. Confirm one civilian kill. Ezo. Considered armed and dangerous. What the hell? What the hell is that? Maybe they just want to bring you in for questioning. I didn't kill Ezo. Maybe they think you're not what you think you are. Are you saying I'm a rep? Come off it. The look on your face after that last one? The minute you start to feel something for skin jobs, you're in big trouble. Maybe I just got too much empathy. In all the wrong places. You want to put me on the machine? Hey, I don't want anything, Slim. You're the one they want. Detective Steele, BR-61354, report to headquarters immediately. Code blue. What are you going to do? Take me in? No matter what they say, you're not on my list yet, Slim. You know what that means. And there's no use juicing you if I can't make some honest chinion off it, you know? I never appreciated your baser instincts so much. Susan must have messed up somehow. I'll check it out, see what's going on, and then... We'll be meeting again, Slim. You can bank on it. You got a deal. I get cracking before I change my mind. And who the hell is this? Ah, the twins, I see. Good God! Your old fogey stuff makes me want to spew. Excuse me, but I was listening to music. Geek! Hoodlum! Thork! Freak! There is someone at the door. Speak! I have a return package from Mr. Luther Lance. A return? From where? Emil Runciter. Maybe one of the chimps blew a gasket and tried to bugger him. They're not available. Come back later. I told you those strains were unstable. Runciter must have discovered the fakes. Relax. Runciter's a simp. Not even old man Tyrell could have spotted those beauties. 20th century like a real drag man. Who Listen the here. Piss do you think Mr. you are? Blasting that we have a strict like a couple no of goddamn policy. cowboys. Ooh. Gentlemen, take a moment to evaluate your situation. Look, there's very little to steal here. If you can haul out one of the statues, be our guest. We look like thieves to you, man? Uh, no. You look like a couple of goddamn. <laughs> Take a good, long look. Aha! Just the people we were hoping to see, right, Lance? Huh? Nexus 6? And you came to us. Return to you, my brothers. To ask your help. Unfortunately, we don't work for the Terrell Corporation anymore. You've been continuing your research, I trust. Yeah, of course. Something drives us on. The common bond. Can you have greater miracles than these? Brothers, my brothers, take a good, long look. Oh. My. God. Well now, shall we begin? That was interesting. You wake up one day and find it's all been a dream. Or you wake up and discover you've been asleep all the time and the nightmare is real. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know who I was. A cop dangling on the short end of the stick or a rep whose memory banks had run out. One thing I was sure of was that I didn't kill Izo. That I know I experienced. 
and this misinformation, maybe it was the key to everything that was happening. Maybe there was a lot more than what met my eye. All I had to do was stay alive long enough to find out. Indeed, and that's the start of Act uh, 4, in case you hadn't guessed. And, um, if you don't mind me saying, I think we were kind of right to uh, side with uh, the replicants when talking to Dectora, because, well, everybody else has just sided against us. And yes, that does also happen when you shoot Dectora. So, now, everybody else seems to think we are a replicant. They may be right. I'm not sure. I mean, just because I didn't shoot Dactora doesn't mean that I'm automatically a replicant. I mean, the picture from the moon bus could still be a fake. I'm so confused. Anyway... We uh, need to sort this out, and that basically means there's only one person we need to speak to, and that is Guza. And it would also be nice if we could find out what the deal was with the twins, who apparently are replicants themselves. That's kind of weird. How would anyone make a Siamese twin replicant? Another problem, though. is that our car is gone. So we cannot drive around anymore. We could go back into the nightclubs, but that serves no purpose. So the only way to go is back into the underground. And there's rats here, and this is a very dangerous place, in fact. There's a lot of rats running around here, and they can kill you. Now, there's various places you can reach. In fact, you can reach pretty much every place from the underground, now that we've gotten to this point. From the sewers, basically. Well, this part is the uh, old uh, subway, but we'll be get to the sewers later. Who parked their car in here? Kind of weird. How far does this go? The tunnel stretched for miles. I was sure it came out somewhere, but I didn't have time to find out. Okay. Oh, we can go up here, though. Hmm. Spiral staircase. But this isn't the King's Quest game. I guess they don't have a monopoly on them. And now we're back at Early's, who is still hiding because we accidentally drew our gun here. But I don't think there's anyone here. Even the uh, hot dogs uh, sellers are gone. And Lucy won't show up here again after we threatened her with the VK. So, this is not that useful, but still... Nice to know that we can get here, should we need to, at some point later in the game. Where else can we go, though? That is the question. The, time, the train is in great timing. Every time we walk on the screen, it comes by. Um, anyway we can go back left here, where those two um, cops were interrogating us, but we'll see what's there in the next video.